Hello everybody, your Supreme Emperor King here and welcome back to Von Julia and welcome back to Nation State. So, I was looking at the flag of Von Julia and I was like, I want to change it. So we are going to change it in this video and we're also going to introduce the presidential election for November. So first off, creating a new flag. So this is the current flag of Von Julia and I want to change it. So this is what I'm thinking. We're going to take this red bar right here and we're going to we're going to expand it. Not too big, not too big, not too big. Maybe like half half of these uh, blue and orange boxes because does it look like look even to you I hope it does because I want to do a logo in the middle so uh, this is what I'm gonna do I am gonna go and make a triangle like so And then gonna go ahead and rasterize that. Go in a little closer. Make another triangle. Uh, we'll fill it white. There we go. And then we're gonna put it right here. We're gonna expand it just a little bit. So it creates a border, like so. That's what we're going to do, is we're going to do this. Get the shape of that other triangle, inverse it. Oops, go to this. Oop. Select inverse. Ta-da! And then I'm going to go to this triangle again, and I'm going to cut off the base if I can cut off both bases that would be good if I can't that's fine I'll fix it like so there we go cleaned it up a little bit so we have a triangle we're gonna flip it we're gonna flip it like this, gonna bring it down just a little bit, and we're gonna have it in the middle, like so. Okay, so it's touching the blue and the red, so just like in the the reaches of it, and then we are going to do this. I'm gonna put the stroke black stroke and let me see might want to make it bigger there we go okay and then we're gonna fix it just a little bit like so okay and then we are going to take this gonna expand it out like so it's not centered Let's see if we can make it centered no we cannot we have to do it we have to play it by look which is fine um I think I think this is good if it's not let me know and then we're gonna take the torch whoops and then we're gonna bring it down put the torch right there what do you think good all right 
How about this? Put the torch. We'll move it. Or does will this look better? Move the stars here. I'm trying to think. Um, I'm going to duplicate this as well. And then we're going to make it smaller. Like so. So that we can make the triangle smaller. Like so. If that even works. Or we could expand this just a little bit. I'll center it like that. Right? And then put the triangle still in the middle and still touching. We are going to be painting this white now. And then the stroke. We're going to change it to white as well. And then we're going to take this, grab that, select inverse. There we go. Wait, that didn't work. Um, try this again. Select inverse triangle. Okay. I think it's because it's it's the um, stroke. That's why. Uh, let's see something. Turn that off. It'll look like this. Is that better or is that worse because I'm thinking we just put back the stars up here like so and then the torch right here like so what do you think? What do you think? Better? Worse? Do we need to round this out even more? So if you're asking what? Why? Why? Why the V? Why the V? Well, for Von Julia, of course. I mean, C is for the Christovan. But what? Wh where, where's the V? That's all I was thinking. <laughs> but what do you think? Maybe that's is that better? Is that good? There's just a random V there. So it's basically the old flag, but we've expanded the red and we've put the V in the relatively in the middle. All right, so it just came to me when I ended recording. Maybe we should change the V to something else. So take a look at this, a V-shaped wreath, right? Wreath stands for peace, uh, victory and, and whatnot, right? Why don't we change it to that so it'll look better because just a, a random V it's not bad it's just I, I feel like it's boring I'm gonna paint it white oh uh, there you go right painted white Oops, how am I going to work this out? Well, I could do pen. Okay, so it's 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 a V technically. I'm just gonna trace this out to the best of our ability. Oops. 
I don't know. I the reason I want to change the flag is because um, there's no representation for Von Julia. There's no V. There's a C, but there's no V. Like what the heck? Like, can we add something that will um, show the V? You know? Because that's what we want. We want a V. All right. So maybe that will work. Resize this wreath. Like so. Put it here. Right? There we go. Is that better? I think that's better. I mean, it's subtle enough. And we could also have it almost touching. There we go. And it's like a wreath, a white, white wreath in the red. So it's like, it symbolizes, um, what is it? We want peace. Von Julio wants peace. But if we need to, we will defend the country with the red. So I, I, I'm, I'm liking this more. So I think, I think we'll go with the stylized V instead of just the uh, triangle. Yeah, I think I'm satisfied with that. So this is going to be the new flag of Von Julia. I will put it on the nation states page and you will see it. You'll probably see it if you visit the nation states page before the video comes up. But this is going to be the new flag of Von Julia. And with that, we move on to introducing the election for president of Von Julia because it is going to be November and November is election season. So we're gonna get to that next. All right, so here we are in Von Julia. And as you can see, I've updated their national flag with the new flag. So today, other than working on a new flag, we are going to talk about the next Von Huler presidential election. Now if we go right here to politics of Von Julia, right here we are going to be talking about this um, but first let's go to the political parties so the political parties of von julia are broken up into left leaning right leaning and center leaning each of those have three parties in them these aren't set they will grow if i come up with new political parties so for the left-leaning party political parties we have the citizen party democratic party and the labor party for the right-leaning political parties we have the liberty party the federal federalist party and the republican party and then the center-leaning political parties we have the compromise party the yang gang and the liberal conservative party so those are the political parties currently in von julia so the next Von Hula presidential election, you guys will be helping me choose the next president after President Lucius Lovecraft. Uh, remember, the president serves a six year term in Von Hulia. So, when this uh, video comes out, probably days after, I will put up polls on YouTube, Twitter, and nation states that will have a poll on these people and you will get to decide and vote who you want as the next president of Von Julia. So keep your eyes out on that. So let me introduce the candidates. So first for the Labour Party, we have the current Vice President Mario Giuliani and his running mate, Mayor Tony Bannon. Next, we have the Democratic Party. We have former Vice President Martha Kane and her Vice President candidate, Senator Marcus Del Rey. So uh, Martha Kane was the former Vice President to Frederick Abraham, who I, as the Supreme Emperor King, appointed as the first President of Von Julia 
Frederick Abraham wasn't voted in. He was appointed, um, but he only stayed for four years until President Lucius Lovecraft was the first election for the people of Von Julia to vote in. All right, moving on. We have the Republican Party candidate, General David J, with his running mate, Mr. Ralph Ralphus. And then the Citizen Party, we have Governor James Calloway with his running mate, Attorney General, Attorney General Wilma Davenport. And finally, we have the Yang Gang, represented by Mr. Andrew Yang. Yes, he has come from America, gained dual citizenship for whatever reason, and is now wanting to win the presidency of Von Julia for some reason. And his running mate is Governor Kristen Whitman. So these are the presidential candidates that will be running for office. So keep your eyes out. The polls will be coming for you to vote. And then at the end, November 30th will be the last day to vote for the president of Von Julia. And then after we decide who the president will be, we will have another election where we'll decide the Senate of Von Julia. So keep your eyes out on that as well. So with that, I think we can do one issue for today. So let's go ahead and do that. Which one are we gonna use? Let's do this one. Not so Kool-Aid. So the issue, a review of Von Julia's foreign aid commitments in the fourth world recently uncovered that large parts of relief funds have trouble reaching the people truly in need. Excessive bureaucracy in the distribution system and widespread corruption at the receiving end are being flagged as major obstacles. All right, so here is the debate. We have four. So the first one. This confirms all of my suspicions, smugly states Cato Knight, Minister of Modest Living and Curtailed Spending, known for his heart of stone. These fancy name programs like the Rural Urban Sustainability Engagements do nothing but finance the decadent luxuries of tin pot dictators, private submarine strip clubs, and collections of gilded banana hammocks. Cut all foreign aid funding and put the money back in our pockets. Okay, number two, that's painting an extremely one-sided and state-centric image of reality, counters Amy Locke, a hip intern at Maxim Multinational. If your minister had bothered reading beyond the tabloidy parts of the review, he'd see that some of the programs are actually doing wonders, like the well-known condensed renewable aggregation production. You know, the common denominator of the successful one. They're not run by the government. Instead of mindlessly dropping all your funding, how about turning it all over to us? We'll completely eliminate the bureaucratic mess you have today and we'll publish really tasteful brochures about everything that went well. Number three, you don't know what NGO stands for, right? Queries trusted civil servant Emmican Shakespeare? It's non-governable ordeals. That's what it is. I'm sure these people have pure hearts, but they're not going to settle. They'll have lobbyists out day and night pushing for you to increase their share of our budget. Let me and my colleagues at the Department of Bureaucratic Oversight take over our aid com commitments. We'll ensure proper implementation in no time and with only a slight overhead. And then finally, why do we care about poor people in places we can't pronounce anyway? Your brother asked frankly stabbing a virtual beggar in his panty theft auto video game. Those images of starving children are so passe and no amount of conscious cash is going to change a thing. Use that money to pop up some of our domestic industries like, I don't know, video games maybe? It's just a matter of time before the problem fades away. I mean, like literally. Well, I'm not choosing that. Um, let's see. Let's see. Aren't these basically the same? Right? Like, they want other people to handle it. And this one wants to cut all foreign funding. I don't know how to feel about that. Um, I think I'm going to choose number three. Yeah. Maxtopian villagers starved by the time Von Huller officials even filed the appropriate paperwork needed to help them. 
no. <laughs> All right, so here are some of the headlines. Von Huller aid workers begin distributing rations. Plush with cash, our shopping guide inside. Here's some more. And here are the recent trends. All right, so let's go ahead and check if we have any cards to open. Nope. All right, so with that, Von Huller has a new flag and a presidential election is coming for november so be on the lookout for that thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button subscribe for more awesome content and i'll see you in the next video the supreme emperor king out